Yeah. But it seems like with Grok, you start to literally, uh, the system's goal is to be able to ask such questions, to answer such questions and yeah. to ask such questions. Where are the aliens? Where are the aliens? That's one of the, the like the Fermi paradox question. Um, a lot of people have asked me if, if, if I've seen any evidence of aliens and I've, I haven't, which is kind of concerning because then I think would I'd probably prefer to at least to have seen some archeological evidence of aliens. Um, to, to the best of my knowledge, there is no proof. I, I'm not aware of any evidence of aliens. If they're out there, they're very subtle. We might just be the only consciousness, at least in the galaxy. Um, and if you, if you look at, say, the history of Earth, for one is to believe the archaeological record, Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Civilization, as measured from the first writing, is only about 5,000 years old. We have to give some credit there to the ancient Sumerians who aren't around anymore. I think it was the archaic pre-cuneiform was the first actual symbolic representation, but only about 5,000 years ago. I think that's a good date for, for when we say civilization started. That's one millionth of Earth's existence. So civilization has been around, it's really a flash in the pan mm -hmm. so far. Um, and why, why have we, why did it take so long for, you know, four and a half billion years, um, for the vast majority of the time, there was no life and, and then there was archaic bacteria for a very long time. And then, you know, you had mitochondria get captured, multicellular life, um, differentiation into plants and animals, life moving from the oceans to land, mammals, um, higher brain functions. And the sun is expanding slowly, um, but it, it, it will, it will overheat, it will, it will heat heat the earth up at some point in the future, um, boil the oceans, and, and earth will become like Venus, where, where no life, life as we know it is impossible. So if we do not become multiplanetary, and ultimately go beyond our solar system, um, annihilation of all life on earth is a certainty, a certainty. Um, and it could be as little as <laughs> on the, galactic time scale, uh, half a billion years. You know, it's a long time by human standards, but th that's only 10% longer than Earth has been around at all. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if life had taken 10% longer to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't exist at all. We've got a deadline coming up, <laughs> yeah. better hurry. But that said, as you said, humans, intelligent life on Earth developed a lot of cool stuff very quickly. So yes. it, it seems like becoming multiplanetary is almost inevitable, unless we destroy We need thing. to do it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's not, I mean, I, I suspect that there, there, if we are able to go out there and explore other star, star systems that we, there's a good chance we find a, a whole bunch of Long dead one planet civilizations. Yeah, they never p made it past their home planet. That's so sad. That's yeah, really sad. Also fascinating. I mean, there are various explanations for the Fermi paradox, and one is just the sort of there are these great filters which civilizations don't pass through, and one of those great filters is: do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet. Um, you know, either natural or man-made that causes us to die out, like the dinosaurs. Where are they now? They didn't have spaceships, <laughs> so. I think the more likely thing is, because just to uh, uh, empathize with the aliens, that they, they found us and they're protecting us and letting us be. I hope so, I mean, nice aliens. Just like the tribes in the, in the Amazon, the uncontacted tribes were protecting them. That's what, uh, that would be a nice explanation. Or you could have like, uh, what was it? Uh, I think Andre Kapathi said it's like the ants in the Amazon asking, where's everybody? <laughs> well, they do run into a lot of other ants. 
<laughs> That's true. That's these ant wars. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good TV show. Yeah, they literally have these big wars between various ants. Yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just uh, <laughs> uh, dismissing all the different diversity of ants. You should listen to that Werner Herzog talking about the jungle. It's really <laughs> hilarious. Have you heard it? No, I have not. It's awesome. But Werner Herzog is a way. <laughs> <laughs> you should play. You should play it for, for the you know as an interlude in the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on YouTube. It's it's awesome. <laughs> I love him so much. Yeah, uh, he's great. Was he the director of Happy People, Life in the Taiga? I think also. He did that the, bear documentary. The bear documentary. And did this yeah. thing about penguins. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> the, the, the analysis, the psychoanalysis <laughs> of the a penguin. <laughs> yeah, the penguins like headed for like the mountains like that are like 70 miles away. <laughs> yeah. And penguin is just headed for doom, basically. Well, he was had a cynical take. I, I have a, he could be just a brave explorer and, and there'll be great stories told. Yeah about him amongst the penguin population for many centuries to come. Um, <laughs> what were we talking about? Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so aliens, I mean, I, I don't know. Look, I think it, the smart move uh, is just, you know, this is the first time in the history of Earth that it's been possible for life to ex ex extend beyond Earth. Um, that window is open. Um, now it may be open for a long time or it may be open for a short time and it, it may be open now and then never open again. So I, th I think the smart move here is to make life multiplanetary while it is possible to do so. We don't want to be one of those lame one planet civilizations no. that just dies out. No, those are lame. Yeah, lame. <laughs> um, <laughs> self-respecting civilization would be one planet. There's not going to be a Wikipedia entry for one of those. And uh, pause. Uh, does SpaceX have an official uh, policy for when we meet aliens? No. <laughs> okay. That seems irresponsible. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if, 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 if I see the slightest indication that there are aliens, I will immediately post on the X platform yeah. anything I know. It could be the most liked, reposted post of all time. Yeah, I mean, look, we we have more satellites up there right now than everyone else combined. So, you know, we'd know we know if we've got to maneuver around something, and we're not I don't have to maneuver around anything. 